Ooh, who is that coming through with the new hairdo? Oh, it's me, Luna. <laughs> I finally got this hairstyle. I've been going to Harriet trying to get this hairstyle for a while now and she finally gave it to me. I don't have bangs in real life. My character looks super cute with them on so I think I might keep this. I don't know. What do you guys think? You think I should keep this hairstyle or go back to my little trusty bun? Let me know in the comments. Also hi and welcome. All right so let's ignore my field of flowers I have going on on this left side. I don't know where to put them so I just shoved them over here. I was thinking of putting them on my beach but it was going to be too much work picking up all of these flowers and putting them on the beach. So yeah my laziness took over. <laughs> For this build I'm going to work on another villager home. I'm going to work on Ioni's yard. Last video I worked on Fauna's yard so if you want to see how her yard turned out I'll leave it in the time cards on top. Now I'm just creating some cliffs. I wanted her house to be enclosed and I wanted to add a river next to her house so I'm just creating an outline with the cliffs. I'm going to have to move these flowers which I am dreading. <laughs> I shoved everything on this side of my island like a long time ago and I said oh I'll just work on this in the future. That's future me problem and here I am. The future is now. <laughs> I'm just creating some textures with the cliffs, like creating some round edges so that it can look more natural. And here I decided that I wanted to add the waterfall, so I'm just creating like a dip in the middle. So now I'm going to move all of these flowers. If you guys need flowers, I got you. Just let me know and I will personally drop it off. I'm going to place Ioni's house now. I love adding this little blueprint for myself because it helps me visually see how the house looks before I place it. And I like how it looks. So now I'm going to work on her yard. I didn't know what I was going for. I wanted it to be like a space for her to just relax and maybe fish on the side because these villagers love fishing. I mean, there's nothing else to do on a deserted island, so I guess that's fair. <laughs> I also wanted her yard to fit the spring cottagecore theme that I'm going for. This side looks so chaotic with all of the flowers and vegetables I have in the background, but I promise the vision is there. <laughs> I also was making this area up as I went along I was looking at the area and I was like I kind of want a picnic area that's like my default whenever I see something like a little area I want to put a picnic area there <laughs> but then I wanted some mushrooms but then I wanted a bunch of different colored flowers everywhere so yeah my mind was all over the place when I was creating this build but here is what I was talking about I wanted to create a picnic area for her I started off with this blanket code I had this vision of adding a blanket on top of of it so it could look like two blankets are on top of each other but after looking at it I didn't like it at all. <laughs> what I did end up doing was adding the green leaf path underneath the blanket so it can look like the blanket is sitting on top of it so I like this idea better and it ended up looking a lot better than what I was trying to do before. Now for the picnic area I had no idea what I wanted. At first I wanted the piano bench as like a little table for the stack of books and I thought I could push it to the side and then add these cushions to make the area look cute and then I added this little cute afternoon tea set. I ended up removing the piano bench and the stack of books for this mom cushion and removing these cushions because I felt like I had too many cushions going on and I replaced them with this fruit basket but as usual I'm very tedious with my work so I kept pushing these items around until I liked how they looked and then after a couple of adjustments, many adjustments, I ended up leaving it just like this. Now I'm adding the circle stone just to kind of break up the path in between and adding some custom designs in these little empty spaces. In this little area here I wanted to fill it up with some flowers and some items that kind of remind me of nature. I literally love this grass standy best DIY item for cottagecore. I absolutely love it because it can hide all of the little imperfections. I added this decoy duck here. I thought it would look cute hiding behind Behind the grass standee and then over here I wanted to add some height to this area so I added a cedar tree and this giant vine so now I'm going to fill up this side with the green leaf path that I'm super obsessed with the creator has a summertime version of this path but I don't know I like this one something about this lighter green color makes me very happy 
<laughs> it literally just screams springtime. I like creating little areas under the tree. I don't know, like in real life, it would be nice to just sit under a tree and just read. I also moved the decoy duck over on this side. I thought it would look cute here hidden behind in the back. Adding my yellow mushroom lamp just to give some light back here. I added this small rug so that I can add Ioni's picture here just to make the area look more natural with this garden rock and glowing moss. For some more greenery, I added this vine bench here so that I can sit down. And then on the left side, I added this low table so that I can add some cute little stuff on top. I was trying to make this Casablanca lilies work, but I didn't like how it covered the sugar cane in the back. And then I decided to place them on the right side and I didn't like it either. So I just scrapped the whole idea and added the scrapbook. I'm just adjusting the river a little bit. I might cover up the left hand side with these cliffs, but we'll see. Then I'm adding this mush log stool with this monarch butterfly on top and these pink cosmos. Then I decided to go back and start adding some butterfly models. I added this great purple butterfly on this side and then on this side I'm going to add the Agrias butterfly model and then I went back and added this puddle again so that I can add a toy duck this time just so it can look like a baby duck that ran away from its mommy. <laughs> then I wasn't feeling the yellow cosmos here so I changed it to these orange ones and then I removed the blue wind flowers so that I can add the grass dandy over here instead. Filling up this empty space with these blue custom design flowers and then adding this wedding wand here because it looks like a little cute bouquet of flowers and then I almost forgot to add Ioni's picture so I added this little log stool and her picture right on top and with that we are done with the build. I love how her yard came out. It looks super ready for spring. Also I time traveled back to cherry blossom season and I never want to leave. <laughs> I love Ioni's yard so much. It has that very cottage core feel to it. Let me know if you have Ioni on your island and if you have her do you love her because I absolutely love her. She is such a queen. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful let me know by hitting the like button. Also, I would like to tour 10 island entrances. So if you want me to tour your entrance, just fill out the Google Doc form I have in the description below. And who knows, you might be featured in my upcoming video. I will also be doing more island tours. So if your island is complete and you want me to tour it, I will have another Google Doc form in the description below. So you can fill that one out too. And because I might get questions, yes, you could definitely fill out both if you want. I definitely want to see you guys' island because you guys work so hard and lastly i will be doing another giveaway when i reach 3k subs on youtube so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and have your post notifications on so you don't miss out on that announcement love you all always take care and i'll see you in the next video